Did you know that there are 40,000 veterans homeless every single night and the main cause of that is PTSD? The men and women who serve our country are on the streets and suffering. They have no place to live. They have given so much to us and have nowhere to go. Hello, my name is Jonathan Muse, and for my senior projects is on the effects of PTSD on veterans. What is PTSD? PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder, is a psychiatric disorder that can occur in people who have experienced or witnessed a traumatic event, such as a natural disaster, a serious accident, war, combat, rape, or any other violent personal assaults. Any traumatic event could cause this disorder to develop. Many believe that PTSD in the military only affects soldiers who are on the front line and have seen active duty combat. But a great percentage of veterans who suffer from this disorder never see combat. And the more you are on the front lines and in active duty combat, the chances of you developing PTSD lower. This disorder is not curable, but it can be repressed and the symptoms of PTSD can be reduced. Symptoms could be hypervigilance, depression, flashbacks, and many more other things. The faster you act on this, this disorder, the less chronic it will become. By this I mean the faster you can get that person who is suffering from this, the less they will suffer and the more likely their chances of recovering faster will um, increase. I found a really good quote that really represents PTSD. It's a war within yourself that never goes away. And this, it means that you have to fight it off. It's not gonna be easy for you to. You have to get over that, that hump and truly get over it. It's not easy, but it's doable. Why would I wanna do this project? I wanna do this project because I respect all those who have served and have given so much for us. This project is important to me because you don't see much about veterans and mental illness in the news. You never do. The only time you see it in the news if someone committed the crime and they're a veteran and they can see, look, that, that person has mental illness. And the people they often talk to say, I knew there was something wrong with them. I knew something wasn't right. Then why didn't you speak up? They think it's not their business to speak up. They think, just get over it. It's not like that though. It's crazy to think that when you know there's something wrong with someone, mentally, you, you don't speak up. I did this project to hopefully to enlighten the subject, and this matter become more relevant to the news, to our community. To speak up and really express, this help these people. For my projects, I held a movie from veterans of PTSD. I sent out emails to the members of my community, my family members, friends, students, anyone who I could think of. I did this by sending out hundreds of emails, just trying to get people to come. I eventually set up the movie at River Theaters, and I sent out the final email invite to those who wanted to come. I did have people come to the movie, and it was really grateful for that people would take time out of the day to come support veterans. When I sent out my invitations, I just didn't say, come to my movie. It's, come to the movie to support veterans. I came to the movie and left a little note saying like, this movie is for veterans of PTSD. I wanted to say that so I can get that little spark in their mind to think about someone they know. That spark could have them talk to a family member, a friend, someone they know, try to see they think something's wrong, that have them talk to them. I volunteered at a marathon for um, a foundation, and that foundation received the money to be able to donate money for Twitter Talk, which is the Marine Foundation. When I sent out my email, one of my friends from the football team, his um, mother emailed me back, and she gave me a pretty personal story. The story was um, someone that she knew 
suffered from this mental disorder. It was hard for him to overcome it. But he did. And whenever I see this, see him in public, he seems pretty good. It's really good that I can see that someone, it's, someone can come over this disorder. She says that he still struggles at points, but he's overall better now. At the event, I showed Fly for Our Father, which is on the um, your left. And it was based on the World War, World War II film that was based on the soldiers who wrote the flag on Iwo Jima. I showcased this certain movie because it showcased signs of PTSD in it. It showed um, how the soldiers went through active duty combat and how it affected them when they came back. One soldier at IRAs who suffered the most out of all of them had um, a drinking problem, lost all of his friends and family. He could never recover from what he suffered in combat. This eventually led to his death in the film, which was sincerely tragic. The movie is a film that everyone should watch. It really opens your eye up to combat, to what veterans have to suffer through. So the Police Foundation and Bo gave me a donation to help me pay for the theater, which is really thankful for them. And Jeff Riley and his club, which I helped volunteer for the marathon, donated me $100 for my movie event. I raised a total of $200, and now we go into the Liberty House Foundation. And the Liberty House Foundation is a foundation that helps veterans who are homeless, who are suffering, who are in trouble, to get them off their feet. It's located in Manchester, New Hampshire. So for my final thoughts, I just want you to listen to this. 20 veterans take their own lives every single day. 20 veterans take their lives every single day. It's hard to think about that. That people who gave their all. We know about the issues of this now. It's become wide more spread than compared it was 30 years ago. But we need to start acting more now. This disorder is not preventable, but it is, you were able to help them. Reach out to someone that you know. Not just ask them if they're okay, but try to talk to them about how they're doing and just try to have them speak about it. That will just help them, if you just have them talk about it. A lot of veterans won't speak up because they have a warrior mentality, which means they don't want to be seen as weak, which they are taught that throughout all basic training. So that's why it's hard for many veterans to speak up. So that's why you need to take the initial initial step to help them with this. They need our help, and it's time to act now. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs>